become a, a broad national effort to help suppress this fire. The erratic bootleg fire blowing up in southern Oregon, sending fire crews scrambling to adapt. This is Queen 6 News at 4. I'm Elizabeth Din. And I'm Dan Tilkin. The bootleg fire is now in the largest in modern Oregon history. We have video of crews hurrying to get big equipment where it's needed most to the north. That fire is 241,000 acres, 7% contained. Progress, meanwhile, in the Grandview fire burning in Deschutes County, it's now 20% contained. And let's go now to our Jacqueline Abad live now with a look at the crews fighting these fires. And what's the very latest, Jack? Dan Liz, well, the uh, Portland Fire and Rescue deployed members as part of the Multnomah County Task Force to the uh, to the bootleg fire. And as part of that, you know, fire officials on the ground also tell me today that they are continuing to see extreme fire behavior. Take a look at this video. The bootleg fire burning in Klamath County grew 10,000 acres yesterday. Crews are using indirect tactics to fight this fire because of safety concerns. So they're using they're fighting fire with fire to burn fuels ahead of it to stop it. And there are nearly 2,000 fire personnel on the ground. That includes resources from across our region and country. The perimeter of this fire is more than 200 miles long and evacuation orders are still in place. We have several days in a row of extreme fire behavior. Every day the fire punches up a column, um, which is, you know, concentrations of smoke and we get a pyrocumulus cloud, um, which is an indicator that there's so much energy coming out of the fire that it's creating its own weather. Now, over at the Grandview fire in Deschutes and Jefferson counties, it's burned about 6,000 acres and crews have made significant progress. They started to mop up and they'll continue that for next week. Now, some crews have been demobilized, so that means that they can respond to other fires in the Pacific Northwest. And as for the bootleg fire, they're making progress on the southern edge and holding containment lines on the western side as well. Now, several crews are working on protecting homes in the Paisley and Summer Lake areas just as a precaution. Reporting live in Portland, Jacqueline Abad, Queen 6 News.